I was kind of like the way they kind of tried to have the banter between him and Wolverine felt a little bit. Eh. I mean, but but for me particularly, what felt a uh, a little bit, you know, for some of, I don't know, some of the some of the attempts at humor felt felt a little flat for me. Like, uh, say, uh, fat, uh, Fred. I mean, I mean, yeah, it's a laugh, but it's kind of a stupid. It's kind of a kind of a laugh, dumb, I know. you know, joke or whatever. It's I like, like the I one where it's like I didn't say blob, I said bub. At least yeah, that's something. Bub. bub. At least yeah. that's something he always says, yeah. which he doesn't say nearly enough of in the movies. So, mm -hmm. I, I did like the blob. <laughs> Call me blob. Yeah, blob was the the guy playing the blob was good. Yeah, wish all the acting was good. Yeah, wish there. again. Not, wish yeah. wish I'd seen more of him. Um, and and the one, another thing about Will I Am's character, uh, we said in our videos that his character was uh, invented for the movies. Some people disagreed with us and said that mm -hmm. the character, uh, what's his name again? John Wraith. John Wraith is in the comics. But see, here's the thing. Here's where where we why we said what we said. John Wraith is there is a character in the comics called that, but isn't he? He's not a teleporter. Though. He's not. No, he he he's, he's a, some sort of a cyborg. He he's works a robot. with machines, yeah. something like that. He's not. Uh, yeah, he, he's the, he's the, he's not a teleporter, and he doesn't look like Will. I am. Yeah. I believe he's white, but Kestrel. From what yeah. I've heard, the, Kestrel. Well, Kestrel, but Kestrel's not the same as as John Wraith, right? I mean, Kestrel is black. Okay, well then, they should have called him Kestrel then in there. I don't know, but uh, John Wraith is black. There are two John Wraiths. Ah, oh, God, this is so confusing. Because, okay, look, I, I have thought read. That John Wraith was the, the the machine guy, not the teleporter. Okay. Yeah. Because John Wraith, the John Wraith is Kestrel. Okay, this is getting a little confusing. Because I read, in all the trades and all the newspapers, they they said that they created this character for Will I Am. Mm -hmm. That is what they said. That's why we. That's what has con we've consistently read. Exactly. That's now, maybe why they we changed. Made the joke, so yeah. if they changed it for him. Then I don't know. If they no, we didn't read it on Wikipedia. We read it in the. Uh, this is what yeah. Fox said in a statement that they released. They said that they created the character in the in the uh, that Will I Am's character in the movie specifically for him, specifically mm -hmm. for the movie that he does not exist in the comics. This is what Fox said in a press release. This is what the newspapers printed um, when we were gathering information about the movie, which is why we made a comment about it because Fox themselves. Put this out now. If they changed his his character to John Wraith, if it wasn't John Wraith before, then I guess maybe that happened later on. We said it because Fox said it, and uh, mm -hmm. also we even though we did know about a John Wraith in the comics, we just didn't think it was the same one because uh, we weren't aware that he was also a teleporter. We thought he was just the uh, the robots guy. Yeah. Well, thank you. It's like you know, I'm not. We're not trying to lecture anyone here. Yeah. We're just trying to clarify it. We try um, to do our homework. We try too. to do. Yeah. X Men. Try to the X Men sure we know world what we're is about. huge. You know. I mean, we can't always. Mm -hmm. We're not always sure about everything either. I mean, you, as big a comic book fans as we are, I'm sure there are things that still that we don't know. We try to be as accurate as we can. You know. I mean, I know we have. Uh, we do have slips here and there, but we try to be as accurate as we can. As far as the John Wraith Will I Am thing goes, we took Fox's word for it. They said they made the character up. That's why we criticized them for making up the character. If they changed it somehow, or if they didn't have their information straight, um, then you know, blame them. But this is. But if we did in fact make a mistake about the character John Wraith, we apologize for that because we should have known. Um, but. Um, but anyway, um, anyway, but but regardless, Fox thought they were making up a character. How's that? Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway, yeah. The. Uh, so anyway, yeah. I'm. Uh, well, I'm glad. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Um. More so than I did, I guess. But uh, I mean, like I said, I still. I enjoyed it. I had fun because it's Wolverine. But it Booty just shot, didn't. Baby. It just didn't feel as. It didn't feel as fun. And some of the other ones, and I know we say like X three. Some people found that depressing, and yes, it was depressing in some ways. But it, they, you know, in that I don't. I think maybe it should have been more depressing than it was. Not maybe not depressing, but a little bit more grounded, a little more serious. Because X three felt a little bit too lighthearted for its own good, for what it should have yes. been. I think. But uh, 
And it this, was, it was this a dark kind of goes, story. It was a serious story, but and it it's was a story. It's one of the most famous stories in X Men. Exactly, the, the cure. Phoenix Saga. Yeah, and and the Phoenix. Exactly, that's, she's that's she's the big hardcore. One, I, think. I mean, she does. But she the uh, but with but, does a lot but Wolverine, I think, goes creates a lot of mayhem. That very is. far in the other direction, I think, where it it it. Uh, you know, I mean, like you said, I mean, prequels, all prequels can't help but be depressing because it's all about how did he get this way? And then suddenly there you go. And Let it's us like, show you all the crap like, that oh, happened to this wow, character. You know, that's why he's like this, people. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, not to go over that again. Um, yeah. The, um, I mean, uh, see, the, the, yeah, the old, I see people asking what ending we got. We got, yes. The ending that we got was uh, Striker. Walking, uh, walking away, after she told, after uh, Kayla Silver Fox told him to keep walking till your feet bleed, then walk some more. He was just walking, and then and, they uh, haul him in for questioning, yeah, which and is they say you're one for questioning the murder. But however, this. that doesn't really to me. That's he did stay to the very end. Yes, yeah, and we saw he was in Japan, yeah, getting drinking. a shot, and yeah. you know, that's there. Which is fine and well, but the striker scene, I kind of felt like. Well, that's great, except we know what happens to Stryker, too. He gets to keep on doing what he does. He was an X-2. He was still mm -hmm. a, a commander, you know. He played by someone else, but still, it's not like we know We know he didn't get his comeuppance because he's still working the same job, you know, mm -hmm. in X-2, which is further on in the future. So while that scene was, was fun and all, it didn't seem like it did anything. So for those... So those of you who got the Deadpool ending, uh, I'm told How that was he that? was he basically what he did. He so are we led to believe that it that that at Weapon Eleven was not Wade, as it turns out, because he picks up the the old head, or he picks up his own head, or he picks up the fake Deadpool's head, and he and uh, from what I heard, I like someone said he just looks at the camera and goes shh or something like that. Is that it? I don't know. That would have been great. I would have liked to see that. Okay, what is it? Uh, it's just a rumor? Oh, okay. So there is no such ending? He wakes... Oh, he just wakes up. Oh. The mouth is there? Okay. His hand crawls... So he puts his head back on. Is that it? Or he takes his own head? Well, Deadpool uh, can do that. He, he just wakes up? It, 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 he can reattach his so head, he, yeah. So he wakes up and he grabs his own head. Okay, so the eyes open on the... On the but his mouth is still... Hmm? Yeah, how did the mouth come back? If that's the case, does he is is it Ryan Reynolds or is it the the stunt man who played him in the uh, in the movie? Can you tell? Can you tell? It's Ryan. It is. Or, him. or some okay. people are saying it's not sure, no idea. You think it's Ryan? Um, okay. We gotta look that up on YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> it's on YouTube. Okay. Yeah, well, I gotta gotta see that. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to look that up. Because the striker one sure seemed like a complete throwaway of a scene. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I don't know if everyone got the striker one because I mean we heard that there were going to be multiple secret endings, Which so we didn't know. Which is ball in itself. Why do that to people? It's like, well, what are you trying it's to like get people to see it twice? It's like it's Clue here. I yeah. It's the last time I remember that happening. But uh, at least hearing about it happening. I didn't, too young to see Clue in the theaters. Anywho, anyway, Anywho. even the uh, even the even the scene at the very end with him in Japan. I know it's set, setting up uh, some. I know Wolverine spent a, they a good the, deal. The Frank Miller Claremont miniseries yeah. do one based on a Japan story. Yeah. yeah, he did spend a good deal of time in Japan training. You know, he's got this fascination with samurais and everything. Mm -hmm. um, so that. I, I understand where they were going, but still, even that seemed like it doesn't offer anything new. Yeah, Mariko. Yeah, um, the adamantium bullets. Right. They yeah. were trying to come up with a way. I guess. A, and then a, that's some. Everybody just never, forgot about that. They never yeah. wanted to explain how his healing factor heals traumatic memories, like apparently it does in the book. At least that's what it's supposed to have done. So instead, it just they had to make the bullets, and we're just meant to believe that the bullets. Cause it's like it's like all right. First of all, the brain is a pretty intricate organ. It's you know, like, I mean, it's like the memories are like these the memories, memories are, are here, right here and yeah, these are exactly. right here. It's like if you shot him at the wrong place, apparently he would have forgotten how to speak. I don't know. <laughs> exactly. It's like, it's like forgotten his ABCs. It, I don't it's know. It's very convenient that all you have to do is shoot him in the head somewhere, and that immediately takes the memories out, but the all the other functions. Amnesia. Yeah. Like, and he knew that would happen. I mean. Eh. 
Now, how the hell does Stryker know that? And also, I understand why they had to do it, because they had to explain it away somehow. In the books, it's very simple. It's just that, well, his healing factor protects him from bad memories as well. It sees that as something bad.